Greetings everyone, Mr. Nom Nom Man here again, and today I have an ammo type explanation video for you guys. In this video, I'm going to be going over the different rounds, how they work, and when you should be using them. Now, in total, there are six different types of ammo in World of Tanks. But before I get into each one individually, I want to go into some basics to make sure that everybody is, starts on the same page. Um, right here, if you go into the screen, you can see your tank's gun stats. The first stat you need to uh, pay attention to when deciding which uh, ammo type to use is penetration. Now penetration is right there in the middle of the screen. Penetration simply refers to how much armor your shell can go through on average at 100 meters. Now underneath that is your damage. Once again that's going to be the average damage that your shell will um, cause when it penetrates the target. Now, when you go over to the supplies menu, you can see specifically what type of rounds that this tank is running, but more importantly, you can see the actual value ranges for penetration and damage. Now, every time you fire a shell, numbers within those ranges are going to be randomly generated. There's nothing you can do to get a high roll, and there's nothing you can do to prevent a low roll. It's going to be random every time, no matter what. One other stat you should keep in mind when trying to determine which ammo you should be using is your gun's caliber, and that's usually given within the name of the gun. Right here, this is a 90 millimeter gun, so that's the caliber of the gun is 90 millimeters. Now, the first ammo type we're going to deal with is armor piercing. Armor piercing rounds can be seen in game with a red stripe behind them. Um, you can see it right here is the first ammo option on the Pershing and the first ammo option on the STA2. Armor piercing rounds or AP rounds generally have an average to high penetration value and an average damage value. AP is cheap usually unless it's being used as a premium option as on tanks such as the Chiri right here. Um, you'll see this on a lot of low tier Japanese vehicles and on other vehicles such as the SU-100Y or box tank. Um, you will also see AP rounds used in some artillery right here as such as in the M53, M55. AP out of artillery is usually a high risk, high reward round. So it should be used sparingly or situationally. Now, AP rounds will automatically bounce if the target's armor is angled at 70 degrees or more. The exception to this rule is if your gun's caliber is three times thicker than the target's armor. This is called overmatching. I will show an example in a moment. If your shell is not three times thicker, but is at least twice as thick, it will re receive what's called normalization or added normalization. Think of normalization as effectively a bonus to penetration, but not a guarantee pen like overmatching. Another thing to note is AP loses penetration over greater distances, and AP has an average velocity, meaning... Um, you don't have to really lead it, and you can't just snap it, usually. Um, now I'll show you some examples of actual AP mechanics. First up, we have just a standard AP penetrating shot to a solid target. Um, here's the same AP round bouncing off a solid target. Um, as you see, it can bounce. Now, with artillery, it's high risk, high reward, but as you can tell, it can be quite devastating. Um, now here's the overmatch I was talking about. This is a KV-2 with a 155mm AP round shooting at a well-angled Tiger II turret. Even though that's greater than 70 degrees, since the caliber of the shell was so big, I was able to get a penetrating shot. The next round we're going to deal with is Armor Piercing Composite Rigid, or APCR. APCR is shown with a black stripe behind him, like right here is the second round on the Pershing. You'll commonly see um, APCR used as a premium round on, on I'd say, 80% of the vehicles in-game. Um, some artillery do have an option to run APCR. I don't think I have any, but um, I seem to remember maybe low-tier French artillery using APCR as a primary round. And... Uh, You'll also see APCR right here on tanks such as the T-71 or um, some high-tier mediums as a standard round, and it's actually quite cheap on them because it's not the premium option. Um, in general, APCR tends to have a very high pen and an average damage. Um, 
as you can see here when comparing the Persian or super or yeah the Persian right here the APCR penetration is substantially higher than the penetration on the AP round but they do the same amount of damage like AP, APCR will automatically bounce at 70 degrees, and it can also overmatch, and it does receive normalization, albeit a little bit less. APCR loses penetration much faster than AP rounds over distance, but it will always still have a higher pen value than AP in an equal scenario. It is worth noting that APCR usually has a higher muzzle velocity, meaning you don't really have to lead the target quite as much. Now, here we're going to see APCR penetrate the same spot that an AP round had penetrated just a little bit ago. Next, we're going to see an APCR round penetrate a spot where an AP round did not penetrate. The next round I'm going to go over is High Explosive, or HE. HE is shown in-game with an orange stripe behind it, as you can tell right here in the third slot on the Pershing. Um, it is also the most common artillery round, as you can see on the M53, M55, it is the first option right there. And you will see HE used in howitzers, or quote-unquote derp guns. You can tell you have a derp gun if your AP penetration is right there next to your HE pen, you likely have a derp gun. High explosive ammo has a very low penetration value and a very high damage value. HE is unique in that it does not have to penetrate the target to actually cause damage. Think of high explosive ammo as little bombs. They can hit the tank and not pen, but still cause damage. You could also hit the ground next to a tank and the radius of the explosion could still cause damage to one or even several tanks. Um, the AP and APCR rounds that I just went over, those are literally solid chunks of metal that just punch a hole through the target almost like a bullet out of a standard gun. High explosive am ammunition is generally very cheap unless it is the premium variation of high explosive which you can see right there's the third option it is yellow and it's outlined with red stripes now these rounds are identical to HE but the only difference is they have a much larger splash area when you hit you don't have to even get near a tank to do damage with this round sometimes they are think of, think of it as a higher charged high explosive round now, these rounds do not receive the normalization or overmatching benefits that AP and APCR receive. However, they also do not have an automatic bounce angle, and the shell does not lose penetration value over distance. One disadvantage of HE ammo is it has a very slow muzzle velocity, meaning you need to give your targets a lot of lead, and the shells will almost arc through the air like an American football. First up, you're going to see what an HE round does against a very thick armored target. It does nothing. Um, against a medium target that's not going to pen, it's still going to cause a little bit of damage. And against a light target, it'll fully pen. Here, you'll be able to see it. you only need to do a little bit of damage to be, able to be able to reset the cap, and that can save the game for you. Here, you're going to be able to see splash effects of a HE shell. This will be another spalling from a howitzer HE shell. And this is what happens when an HE shell pens. Big damage. The same is true for artillery HE rounds. Big damage when you can get a full pen. Now here's an example of a premium high explosive round. Didn't get near him, still damaged him. Another common premium round is the high explosive anti-tank round, or the heat round. This is shown with a yellow stripe, as you can see right here in the second slot on the T-71, or sometimes you'll even get it as a premium round on artillery, just as in the Lorraine 155-50. Now, heat has a super high penetration value and an average damage value. These rounds are generally very expensive and should only be used when needed. Heat ammunition will not auto-bounce until 85 degrees, which is very nice, although it does not receive normalization or overmatching. Um, heat also does not perform well against excessively angled armor. Um, there's, a little, there's a shape charge on the tip of it that penetrates through the metal, so if the 
angle is too great, the charge doesn't work, um, and you, you will bounce. These rounds are slow like HE, and they do not lose penetration over distance. Um, even though these are a version of a high explosive uh, round, they will not cause splash damage, um, although they can pre-detonate on spaced armor, um, making heat uh, kind of iffy against space armor like you'd see on the front of a super purging. Here's a demonstration between AP and heat. Bounce the first one, we will penetrate on the second shot, bounce on the third shot, and bounce on the fourth shot right here. Now with heat, we'll get a pen on the first shot where we got a bounce, we'll get a pen on the second shot where we got a pen, third shot will still bounce, and on the fourth shot, we'll be able to get through the cheek of the turret where we previously bounced. Now, when using heat out of artillery, you're going to want to make sure you hit, because you'll do a lot of damage. But if you miss, you will not get the effect of splash damage that you get with HE rounds. You may also want to consider using heat when shotgunning, as you're more likely to actually hit the target. The final, and likely the rarest round, is High Explosive Squash Head, or HESH ammo. It is also referred to in-game as High Explosive Penetrating or HEP ammo. Um, this just historically comes from the differences between the British and the United States in just what they called the round. It's the same round, two different names, exact same thing. Um, in the game, they appear exactly the same. They both have the orange stripe behind them, and they act identical. With the one exception, the Hesh and Hep rounds have a higher penetration value, as you can tell here. We have our Hep rounds in the first slot with 102 pen, and our uh, HE rounds in the third slot with only 45. Um, you can go right over here, and it's high explosive Hep right there. Um, you'll see this on the Brazil Bulldog. I know the T-49 has a weird gun that uses it, and some high-tier British vehicles will use it. Hesh rounds. Um, these rounds are are capable of causing splash damage, just like the HE rounds, and they do not receive the uh, overmatching or normalization benefits of the AP and APCR rounds. Here you're going to see a HEP round not doing any damage to a well-armored target. Here it will get a little bit of damage. Here it will do a little bit of damage plus module damage, and we're able to get a full pen on a side shot on a heavy tank. And as you can tell here, HEP rounds can cause splash damage. Well, those are the six rounds in World of Tanks, and hopefully you now know how to use them a little more effectively, and you can translate this into getting some better games. Um, if anybody has any further questions, or maybe something I missed, feel free to ask in the comments. I will do my best to answer, and um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to do more guides and such like this. If anybody has any suggestions on content they want to see, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. All right. Um, have a great day, everybody. Bye.